Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Hi. Actually, hindi ako sa sanay ako sa pressure. Pero kaharap mo ilang pastor din. Nagbabago sa dynamics. Nakil niyo yun. Yung teacher ako ay kaya, principal. Pero pag may ari ng school, nagbabago, di ba? Di ba? Parang, pag may passion pala kayo about something, tone down niyo, hindi ba ako sa lika yung kira? Okay ba yan? But, uh, um, good morning first again. And, Tap your person to the right. Yeah, good morning. Thank you. Good morning, and you listen, ha? Okay, on your left, on your left. You tap. Mamaya may exam. Okay, so makinig. Bawal ang matulog. Okay? But, thank you, Pastor, for this privilege. For allowing me to speak on a topic that I really, really, really love talking about. And minsan nga, nakakansyawa na ako ng asawa ko. Masyado bang OA? Yes. I am a certified OA na daddy because I am the Lord that gave my two daughters in in a time where in perfect in timing. We've been married for 12 years now this year, 12 years. But God allowed us to enjoy the six years before we had our first daughter. By the way, this is a year and a half. A year and a half ago. So, I'm blessed with... I have... Sorry, guys, ah. I'm blessed with three girls. I have more than one girl. You're the only girl in my life, sorry. I have three girls in my life. And of course, I'm married to a very beautiful woman. The back. That's Charmaine. And, uh... My eldest. So, nakita niyo ang picture mo. Ang talkative na bata. Siya. And... Oh, uh, that's a year and a half ago, okay? But this was last year, October, when we celebrated uh, Naomi's uh, second birthday. So, ang bilis. Ang bilis. Yung six years namin na walang anak. Just parang hindi na... It's all, not forgettable, but now, ang hirap balikan yung mga experience. Because parang yung the past six years flew by. Nakita yung sa picture, parang one snap of a picture, everybody looked different. But I thank the Lord for giving me personally the opportunity to grow with them in the Lord. This this week, di ba, um, you met, Pastor mentioned, just mentioned, a healthy family, a healthy church. And this, i-expand pa natin. A healthy family will give us a healthy society. Do you agree? Yes. And we are living in a world that's so much evil. Sino nang sino pa nakikinig ng news every morning? Di ba? But after that, nagkikinig nyo depressing. So ako ay ay I drive an average of two hours per day going to from the house to the office. But before it started hearing the news, na ka depressed, pas nagiging negative na yun yung energy, di ba? Iwisa sabi you absorb something, so may inget na uno, magdating pa lang sa office, pumariklang pa naman siya na driver. But I changed that habit na yung two hours madali because I hear yung yung gospel songs, messages, so you can work around. But the topic is not driving, or but the topic is parenting because this is our task. Who are parents here? Parents, parents, married couples, children, and children. Oh, okay, outnumbered tayo. So, pag may quotation na maya, alam na natin kung sino man ang nalo. Pero sila wala ng allowance next week. Okay, so. Makuha kayo sa tingin, kung gusto niya allowance, maumuko lang kayo ng umuko. But this topic is basically about the rules of parents and children working hand in hand. Tinanong ko si Mr. Google. Let's define first. Let's define first parenting. Basic definitions are reading of a child, especially the care, love, and guidance by a parent. I think everybody would agree. It's a process of promoting and supporting physical, emotional, 
social, financial, intellectual development of a child from infancy to adulthood. So, once you start, tuloy-tuloy na. Diba? Kasi sabi ng mga lola at lolo natin, pag nagsimula ka na maging parents, hanggang they will end their lives. Parenting refers to the aspects of raising a child from a biological relationship. So, alam natin, from the, from, they came from our body. But, there's more. I, I split it to three dimensions para mas madaling unawain. Why, the children, why are we studying about parenting? Because soon you'll be there. And this is also a good sharing wherein you will see the struggles of how parents, each parent, are into now. Sabi natin, okay, that's your role. But future, that's you, that will be your future role. And in fact, when we are attending parenting seminars, me and my wife, a lot of older parents mentioned, sana meron kaming ganitong learning before. We could have done different. Now, because the world is so much evil, there's so much destruction. My time, when I was smaller, and uh, my parents, walang cell phone, walang social media, walang Facebook. In fact, lagi kami napapalo because hindi kami umuwi ng bahay na maaga because we're playing outside. Now, it's a different. Kids are even enticed to go out. Right? Kasi, Ang ginagawa sa loob ng bahay? Nagbabasa ng Bible. Yung iba nga, yung iba nga. Pero katabi yung cellphone. At pag natabi yung cellphone, balik na naman dito. So, the generations ago have different challenges. Walang cellphone, pero marami din namang privileges. We're in, pag sinabing weekend, wala namang mga activities sa weekend, but it's more on spending the, with the family. Or else, yan yan eh. So, it's really different now. So, we, let us now understand where we are as of the moment as a parent, future parents, and your, 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 your roles as children. Sa aming parents, our roles is to provide shelter. That's number one. Provide a home. Nagyan ng bubong sa ulo ninyo. And it's expensive, right? The dads, the moms, we have to work because we want you to experience a financial a stable family. In fact, growing up, I've, saw my, I've seen my parents really work hard. Very, very hard. Just to provide a good education. Pero naririnig ko rin that time na nag-uusap sila they were struggling to for our tuition fees. Provide security from harm or danger and promote good health. Kaya kumain kayo ng mga gulay children, okay? I have to tell that to myself also. I don't think we vegetables. But, di ba, ako, planning ako pag the safety of my, 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 my family. The gate must be closed, double, double locking doors, because Practical. The, the world is just so evil right now. So we have to physically protect them. And I think the fathers would support this one. Even my parents and mothers. Next, do naman sa emotional. From, so from the body, we go inside. The emotional and psychological dimension of people. To provide an avenue of emotional growth and maturity to create relationship that bonds parents and child closer. You don't have to answer me, but do you have this kind of connection with your parents right now? Siyempre, oo, allowance, di ba? But beside the allowance, where are we now? Is it dynamic? Is it cold? Lukewarm? So parents, at the same time, are you engaged are you engaging your children to this kind of relationship building? Again, family is not only limited to bail, to the physical connection, but what is lasting is the emotional part. It creates a different dimension of growth 
wherein you will remember your memories usually diba your memories more is more of the emotional and intellectual you cherish you cherish all what had happened before the goods and the bads though the bads creates wound but as parents we try to shelter but we cannot guarantee correct parents we we cannot because disciplining is hard because you have you have a daughter you have a, a son who's just unique sino mas marami may ba diba? maraming anak different personalities so walang formula fits all and ito part, part ng role ng parents talaga is to enhance intellectual development of the child that's why pinaparal kayo diba kinocoach kayo as we go along Ito, mas paloobin pa natin the spiritual dimension. Dito tayo maraming sabit. I personally. Because a role of a parent is not only to provide the physical and the emotional development and stability of a child, but it's to teach a child about God and how to have a Christ-centered life. To guide a child on how to build a relationship with the Lord. Are you leading your child? Children, are you helping your parents? And this is basically our topic for today. So, parenting as discipleship. Kung tatagalin mo lang ibang letters dyan sa discipleship is basically discipline, right? But, it's so complicated when we talk about the correct parenting style, correct correct uh, discipline. Di ba? Palo ba? Or tupalo or not tupalo? Di ba? Dati, ngayon, it's their right. Yeah, I will spank you with the left. It's your right, I will spank you with the left. But, it's not, it's beyond the physical, but it's more on where the discipline starts. Where the parent starts to discipline is to disciple. And this is basically how the Lord Jesus Christ modeled. When He came to the, to, the, to, to the world, He started to make disciples for Him to be able to spread the word about God. The word follow me is both an invitation and a command. Diba? Pag, pag mga bata, Invitation because they follow me. Pero pag medyo hindi nakikinig, follow me. <laughs> With much eyes. But Jesus called His disciples, called us for a relationship. Do the disciples, Peter, yung mga tip, tip, di ba? Andrew, when they were catching fish, they called Jesus. Jesus called them and they said, follow me. In fact, in Matthew 4, 19, Simple. Come, follow me. It's an invitation to build relationship. When they followed, they demonstrated obedience. How? They just drop their nets, right? They just drop their nets. Wala nang pasakali. Ay, hindi. Magpapaalam mo na ako ganito, ganito. No. They just simply follow. A man that seeks others to follow Jesus. So ngayon, from you yourself, as a follower of Christ, we are now tasked or commanded to make other disciples. And let's not look far. Let's look starting here. Our house, our home. Paul mentioned, follow my example. I say, follow the example of Christ. So dito, bumabalik, that how to live life best example is Christ. No one else. As, a, as your role as a child, a children, a child, daughter, son, or as a parent. Are you living a Christ-centered life? So, we have to continuously ask ourselves. As Christian parents, dito pumapasok, big legal pala. So, kids, we just following the Bible, okay? 
train the child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not turn from it. This is a command with love, wherein parents are now mandated, biblically backed up, that we should be training you. Because in the future, things will be very, very different. But when you have Christ in your heart, your center with Christ, you will always go back to your center. In fact, a lot of Christians, maraming, bak, maraming backslider, yun sila yung term na common sa amin dati. Ay, Christian, lumaki. Nakita nila. Pero nung high school, natuto na magbisyo. Ay, nagbackslide. Yan, yun yung very fa familiar na term sa, sa probinsya namin. Ay, nagbackslide. But, karamihan din, especially my, my generation, maraming lumihis, but mas madaming bumalik. Because we were able to establish a Christ-centered life. Bumabalik kami doon sa core. So, just imagine, just imagine, if wala kang Panginoon, saan ka tatakbo? Siyempre, barkada. Tama? At barkada mo, unstable din. So, damay-damay na. Trouble. Tama? So, guys, parents, both parents and children, we have to train. It's a command. We have to train our child. Lead them to God. Lead them to serve. Kaya nga, medyo, I, I'm, I'm really blessed. Um, when I started going to church in Manila back 1996, I've seen the Heraduras. I've seen them when Marky was this small. Can you just imagine Marky? This small. She's so cute.